Ah, oh yeah, Daddy needs some uppers. Oh, oh. well, this will be interesting. <laughs> Hi, I'm fake news anchor and real life barely keeping it together, Austin Zessen. <laughs> and welcome to Next Week Now, the show that now regrets taking me off my medication. <laughs> if you've never watched this show before, then what better time than now, our season finale? <laughs> this is the best part of the show, where I fill you in on the news that we didn't predict, and then make corrections over predictions from last week. Our current season running total is 384,865 points, which seems calculated, fair, and not arbitrary. Shut up, Ethan. How would you know? <laughs> With no restraint and no incentive to ever get my shirt back from KVR News, let's begin <laughs> with what we missed. Russia has been banned from the 2018 Olympics. That's right, Vladimir Putin, with his performance-enhancing red nose, isn't allowed to play in our reindeer games. <laughs> but don't worry, if you're like me and the Winter Olympics is the only way to relive the miracle on ice, Russian athletes who don't use steroids can participate individually, just not under the Russian flag. Because nothing feels better than showing up to the big dance all by yourself. <laughs> China made a great stride this week with its first fully electric cargo ship, but then totally misses the mark as the ship hauled coal across the Pacific. <laughs> that's that's kind of like getting a student loan to pay for your liberal arts degree. <laughs> or, or if it's the morning after and you tell her you'll call. <laughs> or, or if you're the president and you promise to fix a corrupt system that benefits the rich. <laughs> All of those are equal in my eye. Same-sex marriage is now legal in Australia, making it cooler than America, but not as cool as Bali because I still can't marry my wombat. <laughs> Our correspondent down under, Taylor Taylor, writes to us, Oi, forget the Barbies, I'm keeping my prawns in these dingoes here. Now I feel free to enjoy as many meat pies as my didgeridoo darn well pleases. Wow, that was so offensive and yet said nothing at all. ABC reporter Brian Ross has been suspended for four weeks. And no, it's not the reason you're thinking of he actually keeps it in his pants this time. He's been let go for falsely reporting that Trump ordered Flynn to make contact with the Russians during the election. The real story is that Flynn contacted Russians when Trump was president-elect. So that's, that's different. <laughs> I mean, if having one slip up when you're reporting the news means your job, then lock me up. <laughs> Seriously, lock me up. I say so many things wrong on this show. Like, we shouldn't even call it news. <laughs> With a new tax plan almost at the president's desk, graduate students at UT and around the country walked out in protest yesterday. With the new plan, grad students are now taxed for tuition waivers, which is really just money that they never see. Although, going to be honest, I didn't know this was even happening until this broadcast, because I never go to TA section. <laughs> Attendance isn't mandatory. Why would I? Like, seriously. All right. Before I go into corrections, next week now I wanted to do something special before the winter break. So we got two friends of the show, children's theater performer Jill Young and Eric Martinez, who is enjoying his recent release from the Round Rock Mental Rehabilitation Center. <laughs> how y'all doing? Uh, how are they doing? You got them? <laughs> ah, there you go. Hey, look at what y'all, what y'all, what y'all up to? Hi. Mm. Hi. <laughs> uh, we are. You got, you got ice in there? Just so excited. <laughs> oh, wow. We are missing the to mark. To build here. a gingerbread house with you today. I'm just uh, spreading some sweet little icing on my sweet little house. Let's get started. Um, so, um, <laughs> we've really put down the foundations already, and now it's all about the roofing. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Eric, um, this is really uneven. And hey, you're remember, some remember when we were in the first grade and we were in a gingerbread house co competition? Yes. And I beat you? <laughs> yeah, remember that. So what's really important about doing the roof is you want to get just a nice, even, just That's a too nice much. That's too much. <laughs> gingerbread houses aren't about competition. They're about building something together. And that, that's what I, we're doing. I'm already, I'm already halfway done. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just saying that it's really important to not have a lot of tension 
when you're trying to make a house. Because just like a real house, a, a house divided cannot stand. That's what Abraham Lincoln said. And I honestly <laughs> Do feel- not quote Abraham Lincoln right now. Oh my God. I just. Oops. Sorry. <laughs> wow. All right. Oh, okay. That's that certainly is pleasant. All oh, right. Wow. Uh, and now we have two productions to make corrections on tonight. First, we made an offhand comment that McDonald's would be re-releasing the McRib along with new items such as the McBeamer and the McRection. <laughs> None of those items technically count as food, so legally McDonald's can't release them. However, they did release a new dollar menu, and it's about as appetizing as the McFemur. So, we were close. 20,000 points. <laughs> Last week, we made claims that Trump is the real cause of the California wildfire because he constantly needs to be drinking water like the thirsty boy he is. <laughs> Trump is not the cause of the California fires, nor did he suck all the water out of Puerto Rico like we said he would. In fact, it was our own Ethan Yoon that started the wildfires. Here's a picture of him in California <laughs> lighting some adorable chinchillas on fire. <laughs> now, we weren't right enough to award us the usual million points, but Mr. Yoon was seen last week drinking an obscene amount of water, further drying up California, so I say we at least got 50,000 points right? Yeah. Although, shame on you, Ethan. Those chinchillas did nothing to deserve your wrath. Nothing! <laughs> and that's all we got for tonight. We end the season with 454,865 points. You know what? I don't like that number. And the points, like campaign promises, have no real impact or meaning to the show. <laughs> so let's just make it a cool 500,000. Real simple, real easy. Yeah, I like it. I like it. All right, folks, that's a season wrap on what we missed. And I hope it was confusing for you as it was for me. Now here's Matthias Kalorian with the hot seat.